<laughs> Go ahead. Hi, everybody. We're back for another Wine Down Wednesday. We have a couple of wines for you. I'm pretty sure we've done videos on these wines before, but it's been a while. So we are coming on back to these right now for no particular reason. Too cold. Just because I had them in my, my wine collection. Too cold. <laughs> and I just picked something. Just pick something out. To share with you guys tonight. So we are starting with the K Fico uh, 2022 vintage. Oh. Uh, it's a oh. Pinot Grigio, so this is from Italy. I forgot about this. This is good. This is an Italian wine. Yeah, no, this is too buttery. Good. good. It's um, $26 a bottle. We're jumping right on into this wine. No small Jump talk right tonight. Jump right into it. Um, it's described as earthy and crisp, 100% Pinot Grigio, no blend of any kind. Um, so earthy and crisp with notes of lemon, almond, pineapple, and white flour with a stony minerality. That's why I picked it. You and your minerality. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Last time we did it, excellent. It's almost like a Chardonnay. It is a little bit, it but is. It, it, it's slightly, it's not quite a Chardonnay though. Uh, it does taste a little buttery, even though that's not in the description. It's like Chardonnay light. I think I said that before. Okay. Chardonnay light, but it's excellent. Huh. Excellent. Love it. I'm trying to, this is a, a it, it's an Italian wine. It goes with a lot of different things, but like definitely creamy Italian. I have to make a mental note of this wine again for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Buy two or three bottles for Thanksgiving. Okay. Because this is one you could drink all day. Yeah. You know, during the day on Thanksgiving. I like to start with the bubbly. I know. Her and her parents do the bubbly. Mm-hmm. While we're snacking. Yes. I mean, I'll do the bubbly. Mom likes the bubbly. Yeah. She likes the sweeter bubbly, though. She does. Mom, Mom will be down. Mm -hmm. But Mom would like this wine. What do you think? Because this isn't really sweet. Mom, I think she'd like it. Mom, well, you're right. Mom kind of likes the sweeter. Uh huh. She that that Rosa Regale wine that she loves. That's very sweet. Yes. It's like a bubbly rosé. It's like eighteen or nineteen dollars a bottle at Publix. I buy it for. Her. She drinks one glass of it. It sits in my fridge. And, and because it's bubbly, then like you you can't save it. Right. We just throw it away. It just or, goes or flat. It, well, actually, the kids will drink it. Yeah. Sometimes they'll they'll dip into it. Um, so, I mean, I, I had it with the, we have a little bit of like a Alfredo chicken and, and broccoli over here. The Alfredo sauce, I mean, it's just definitely not anywhere close to being like homemade or authentic. It's just taking a pinch. I needed something real fast. We could have put a pat of butter in there. Uh, I mean, I, it's still, it's really watery. I don't know. It normally doesn't do that. Um, but, and still, you get the idea. It does taste really well with the, uh, with this Italian wine. It does. Um, this particular wine... What, what would you say it was? It's a it's a, a Pinot pino, Grigio. A pino, pinot Gris. We did a video on this wine before. I have to go back, but this definitely is one I'm going to make a mental note of because I'm going to order wine for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a video, a Halloween video again, aren't we? It's going to be like with, <laughs> with, with Halloween on a Thursday candy this corn, year. Candy corn. Candy corn. No. Well, it's Wednesday before Thursday. No, I think it's Thursday. The wine, the wine down Wednesday. Yes, I'm yes. saying we could do a video. We could get dressed up. You could put like you could get dressed like a cat <laughs> and put the little cat things on. Oh my goodness! No, thank you. You could have the cat ears. No. She's not a cat person. No. She is. I'm not. I'm not a re like really a Halloween person. Like dress up in costumes either. And my cat stares at her when she's on the couch sitting with me. My cat just stares at her. She's like, why are you here? <laughs> she's jealous. She is very jealous. She's extremely jealous. She's not jealous of my son. My son comes over. Oh, and she gets like, all excited. Oh, 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 she flirts with my son. Uh huh. And then, and he was like, what is she? Why is she doing this? I don't know. She remembers Circling you. around his legs. But and she won't everything. do that to her. No, she ignores she me. She just stares at her. She goes. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Ooh, the beef jerky. We have Nick's beef jerky. My oh yeah, the fresh homemade beef jerky this time. I love that. He he, he remember he was kind of on a, a a little hiatus. Uh huh. And this is the beef jerky that it's not cheap, um, but it's like forty bucks. I think I spent forty bucks for what? Four, but it's quality. Actually, it was four one pound bags for forty bucks. It's not it's not a, bad. I mean, ten bucks a pound. That's a little expensive. But. It, it is, but I can tell you, it's all natural. It's all organic. There is no chemicals or pesticides in it, and hundred percent goes to the American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. So that's why we got it and it's awesome. Oh, that's why I'm wearing my pink today. So we're officially in October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So every Wednesday at school, um, we are gonna be wearing our, our pink. You should bring beef jerky to school. 
Yeah. And that's a beef director. Mm -hmm. You know, here's the problem, with Nick. If you did, you have 50 different people, teachers want to buy up. Mm -hmm. You can't keep up. Mm -hmm. Can't keep up with that. That's just a little solo operation. Here he is. He's, he's really good. This is my neighborhood. He's real quiet. Where every now and then he'll message me and go, I got a new batch. And we're like, yes. Mm -hmm. Please. Asking if you want any. All right, so. Now, new look, same great wine. Cafico Pinot Grigio, one of our most popular wines, has a new look that reflects the beautiful ter 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 I think it's terrain. Um, terrain? And, and, and history of Italian wine. Uh, this Pinot Grigio is a classic, crispy, dry, versatile, with or without food. It's your house white wine. And that's what I said. I thought it would go with a lot of different things. I don't things. think this is a house white. Can I have one of the, yeah, one of those? I don't think this is a house white. I think this would be classified, honestly, I, I said this before, this is on the verge of a Chardonnay, Chardonnay light, Chard light. This is coming down from the temperature, you should refrigerate this because as it comes down to room temperature, it's going to get more and more like mashier and sweeter. That's my opinion. Okay. But it's awesome though. It's awesome cold. That's, yeah, no, that's the way I like it. I love it. I'm going to get three bottles of this for mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Um, there's lots of, uh, we have to go back through the, the, remember the Viognier? That one goes really well at Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta, we, we gotta make our list mm -hmm. of what we're gonna order. We still have a little bit of time, but, um, so this pairs well with fresh cheeses, creamy pasta, and soup. So we, we are getting to the fall. People do like to make soups. A good, like, creamy soup. Mm -hmm. Actually, any kind of soup with, like, just a, like a good chicken broth. I might make soup and jar it. I might get, okay. you, know, you know what I might do? I might buy a um, a small turkey. Yeah. Or even a chicken. I might buy a chicken, bake it, and then we could eat it for dinner, and then the rest of it, boil it all day long. Actually, you don't do that. You need to boil chicken quarters, mm -hmm. raw. Raw, with onions and celery and all that. Make a yeah. broth, drain it, use the broth. She knows I'm good. I give her jars of chicken soup and she eats it. Mm -hmm. Jars of chicken filled with carrots and celery and onions. The problem is you have to, don't put as much uh, pasta or whatever in no. it because it, it balloons up and balloons soaks up. up all of the, the broth. What you, what you do is, like the ditalini, you put it in there and you literally take it out, to stop it, just start jarring it when it's still hard. Not hard, but like really al dente, mm -hmm. if you know what al dente means. And then... Throw it in the jar, put it in the fridge, cool it off immediately. Or you could boil the pasta separately. That's an idea. You could boil the pasta separately mm -hmm. so it's really al dente, and then cool it off with the water, then throw it into the soup, and then jar it. I guess, but it's still it's still gonna soak up the broth. No, no, no. I know that. And get really puffy. But the, you know what makes it blow up is that when you jar it, turn it upside down, it's still really hot. So it's still cooking that pasta, and it gets all mushy. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is you, you make your broth, everything ready to go, turn the thing off, let it start to cool, make your pasta, make it, throw it in there, and then jar. So I've been trying this with a couple of different, like, Italian-themed flavored things. I had, like, the Parmesan garlic uh, little, like, pita crisp things, mm -hmm. the, um, the turkey pepperoni, the um, uh, caramelized onion jack cheese. Um, I mean, I, I like it with the, the Parmesan garlic. Um, crisps, mm -hmm. not so much with, with those two, even though they're kind of like Italian flavors. Not mm. necessarily my, my favorite, but... i tell you, I have to go back and look at the video we did this because this is awesome. This is an awesome wine. Overall, everything is great, you know? Trying the different cheeses. This is, a, this is definitely a wine for cheese. So if all you're going to do is have this for dinner and just kind of snack and drink wine, this is a great wine. Well, yeah. even with some kind of creamy chicken or seafood or some kind of dish like that, it goes really nice too. Right. So the soil to sip report for this wine, it is sourced from old hillside vines planted in the early 2000s in the Veneto, giving extra flavor and concentration. Each vineyard is harvested at night when optimally ripe, using no processing aids during production. Fermented in stainless steel vats for 12 days before aging eight months in stainless steel to give extra texture while still maintaining freshness. Bottled with lighter weight glass for lower carbon footprint, recycled under sustainable cork. 
Um, so again, the tasty notes are lemon, pineapple, almonds, white flour. I don't, I don't get lemon. I don't get lemon either at all. Definitely not, at not all. in this one. But pairs well with cheeses, pasta, and soup. The ingredients for this wine are grapes, yeast, and mm. sulfite. So that's interesting. No malolactic bacteria and no tartaric acid. Let me try it with a tomato. Yeah. So this is uh, 101 calories per five ounce serving, 0 0.204 grams of carbs per five ounce serving, no fat. So why not drink it? Right, 12 and a half percent alcohol and 1.38 grams per liter of residual sugar. Mm -hmm. So that is slightly higher than the residual sugar in most of the, of the Scout and Cellar wines, the clean craft wines, um, but by no means is this sweet. No, it's not sweet, but I think as it warms up, it's probably going to get a little bit sweeter. It's going to have the, the texture and the palate is going to be a little bit sweeter. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think with the tomato? I think it, it's, it's an awesome wine. It's an awesome, it's not, a, maybe you could classify it as a, ta a, a table white wine, but it's an awesome, 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 awesome wine because I think it, it's a hybrid between a Pinot Gris and a Chardonnay. So if you like that middle ground, I think you would really, really like this. So if you're in the, kind of in the middle of the road, now there's deeper, richer Chardonnays that we have, mm -hmm. but this is nowhere Much close Much more buttery, that. yeah. But this is one that I really like. See, I, I really, I don't like the buttery Chardonnays. I like the, the lighter unoaked. He loves the buttery Chardonnays. This is a, a great happy medium for the two of us. It really is. I mean, this is really mm -hmm. awesome. This is like a nine and a half in my opinion. And I think I did it in the last video. This is a nine and a half. Okay. I mean, this is up there. This is, yes, buy it. So a fun little fact, Pinot Grigio, we've talked about this before, um, is actually a mutation of Pinot Noir. No doubt. So it means gray pine. This grape, also known as Pinot Gris, has a gray cranberry skin color that can make rosé and orange wines as well. So it's in the same family as Pinot Noir. If you notice the Band-Aid, I hurt myself. Mm -hmm. I tripped over my brand new baby tomatoes, which they're flourishing now. Last week they, they weren't really growing and now all of a sudden they've just completely sprung to life. Okay, so I put seeds. One, I mean, they're little microscopic seeds. And I have, there's 30 little pods. I put Miracle Road dirt in them. One tiny little seed there. You can't even see the seed. You have to like, I put my glasses on, put the seed mm -hmm. in there, push it down in. And then now, like the picture I sent her last night, they've doubled in size. Yeah, just in they're, a week. Overnight? They're, they're like molt, like the, the, the leaves, now the leaves are sprouting out again. It's like, mm -hmm. like this. And it's like, we're going to have tomatoes by Christmas. We're going to have tomatoes by Christmas. Yes. Like lots and lots of tomatoes, like a ridiculous amount. You have to use a lot of them to make sauce if you want to make sauce. Well, the San Marzano's, small batch. the San Marzano's, I have about, out of 30, mm -hmm. I planted 30, and 26 have taken hold. And out of, out of the yellow plums, which the, are the yellow plums that I have, they have kind of like a nipple on them. You ever mm -hmm. notice they have like a nipple on them? Not like these. These don't have a nipple on them. Mm -mm. Um, I like nipples. <laughs> but they have the nipple on them. But ask her. It's like an endless supply. They love Florida. That particular Oh, they, they plant, produce a lot of fruit. Every single day you go out there and you just pull, you pull them off. Mm -hmm. We use them in the wine videos. And they're delicious. So we're going to have 29 of those. Okay. Plants, twenty nine, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There's gonna be a lot of yellow tomatoes. Those are gonna be like my kids. I'm gonna live like my <laughs> second set of kids. Yes, your so you babies. Have, so you have, have to, to love me. them and nourish them. You have to help me. Okay. You know All right. Song. I know. I love a little sade. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our second wine. This one mm. is from Spain. No, you can. I'll talk for a little bit. Um, lots of different places in in the United States, Oregon and Washington, or uh, and and uh, California primarily from the United States. And me being Italian, I know, I know about all of them. Yes. I know things. I'm Italian and I know <laughs> That's what I do. I drink wine and I know things. I drink wine, I'm Italian and I know things. <laughs> I'm a cocky Italian. So this <laughs> red is 100% uh, Tempranillo, no, no blend of any kind. It's earthy, full-bodied, and complex with notes of cherry and tobacco. So this is a big change from the white that we were just having. I don't know, I'm but I think I think I'm the like I don't know. I think the um, the beef jerky is gonna go really well with us. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. 
you need a napkin to rub the bottle. I, I got rub it. Rub the bottle. I just make sure it doesn't get all over my placemats. You know how I am about my placemats. That's she'll, what OxyClean is for. She'll look at me and go, and I go. And I have to, I'm okay. Mm, I'm okay. editing the video. I look at her, look, she goes. Mm, okay, it's fine. She knows automatically that when laundry fine. day happens, she has to, she has to scrub. No, I don't scrub. Honestly, I just spray OxyClean on it and it comes right out. All right, let me do the smell. Because in the, that, that's something, an interesting fact to talk about. So in, in all of the, the red wines with Scout and Cellar, there's no mega purple. There's no, And that's what stains your clothes and your teeth. You don't get that in the clean crafted wines. So if you do have a little spill here and there, it easily comes out. No, it's fine. Because the mainstream wines, like we're talking Coppola, Chateau Saint Michel. I mean, we're talking big it time. That's interesting. I said the sweet and spicy, but it's got a little kick to it. That sweet and spicy. Have you had it yet? The. No. Oh. This is really smooth. I kind of was expecting it to be like a little bit more smoky. I'm not getting necessarily because they're talking about tobacco. I just ate sweet and spicy, so hang on. Okay. I'll try a little bit of, of beef jerky with it in a minute. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm getting smooth too. Yeah, wow. it's it's a wow. really nice wine. Fruity. Yeah, it Fruit is. forward smooth. Okay. Um, big, bold, and earthy, this Spanish gem will have fans of Big Reds from Bordeaux and Napa dancing for joy. Lots of cherry and dried herbs oh, yeah, that, that lead to notes of pipe tobacco and leather. Mm -hmm. Leather. Uh-huh. These are all the flavors that big red collectors dream of. Oh, so if you're a really big, like, good, rich, bold red drinker, you're going to love this wine. Mm, yeah, yeah, de definitely fruit forward. Awesome with the beef jerky. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of these flavors layer into the full-bodied and complex taste that Spanish reds are known for. Pairs well with roasted meat and veggies, steak, and Spanish-inspired charcuterie. All right. No, that's fine. I, so this is like ch chipotle chicken. I don't normally do chicken with a red, but... You don't. And chipotle is not necessarily Spanish, but we'll, probably, we'll make it work. When she comes over for the weekend, I usually have a whole... Like, I have a freezer load of things to choose from for dinner. Mm -hmm. So we eat dinner Thursday nights. We usually do some something on Saturday. Friday night, it's going to be the Q's game, watching the Q's game. So I'm just going to kind of snack. Um, and Sunday night, we do something. So... that's You have to try it with this. That's that's the, the, the um, Chipotle flavor with Chipotle. this. Chipotle. Chipotle. It gives this wine a different spin. It? It's, it's really... It, it complements really well. It tastes nice. I like that. If All right. Try that. It's got a kick to it. This is the spicy one. It's got a kick to it. Okay. So uh, it's thirteen point four percent alcohol, zero point five one grams per liter of residual sugar. Okay. So yeah, it's good. Here's an important thing to know about this wine. Um, this is um, rustic and delicious wine. Was bottled without filtration or fighting. You will notice that natural sediment at the bottom of the bottle and potential sediment stain um, on the on the bottle. So. As you get a little bit lower in there, you're going to notice a little bit of sediment at the bottom of the bottle. That's because there was no filtration in the process of making this wine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with the wine. But so they recommend that you use um, a decanter with a really fil yeah with a filter on the top For this? to get the because at the bottom of the the bottle there's going to be some sediment down there. When you talk there. to your mother, she has decanters. Yes, but you have to have the filter on the top to catch all of that that sediment. She have one you let it aerate and then. It catches all of the the sediment that might be at the at the bottom of this bottle. It's okay. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the wine. Right. It's just because oh no, the process that was used. Chewy piece of paper. <laughs> the 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 process that was used to, to make the wine. There was no filtration and no uh, no no fining. But again, just part of the process for how they they made well, this wine. You take a coffee filter, put it over the decanter, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and dump it through. I'm not quite the same as the like a little metal like filtration thing. That sounds like a good Christmas present. Yeah. A decanter would be a nice Christmas present. Your mother already has one. For me. Oh. <laughs> or for you to put on your new bar cart. Mm-hmm. That would be nice. I want to fill the, the wine slots with wine. Yes. I got to do that. Mm -hmm. I got to slowly do that. But the problem is you can't slow it when you're drinking it. You can't slowly fill it up. No. Because then you pull and drink. I think it, it has like It's six, like hers over there. I have a lot of space on mine. But with your bar cart, I think there's only slots for like six to eight wines. 
when we move in together, it's going to be supercharged over there. That whole thing will be filled with wine. Because <laughs> I'm going to be ordering wine when she's well, not I'm home. Jenny. <laughs> you be like, where did this come from? I decided to order something. I don't know. I just showed up out of nowhere. I don't know. It fell off the truck. <laughs> it fell off the truck. I don't know. You talk to the guy, the driver, the UPS guy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> She's like, we have eight bottles of wine here. What the heck? I, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. No. This wine is worth it. I'm not going to complain. This is good. This isn't like really like bold, like a, like a Cabernet, like that, that, that really bold. It's not even peppery, kind of like the... Uh, Syrah. The, the Syrah, or even the Petite Syrah. This would be like a combination of the... God, I have to try it again. <laughs> um, this would have to be a combination of the... Maybe a petite serrano merlot, maybe? So it's interesting, with the beef jerky, I get more of like that that leather and tobacco leather taste to it. The smell of leather. Obviously, I don't eat leather, but the Actually, smell of leather. Now. After eating that, I'm eating. I'm getting that, that leathery. You're really? Right. Like fresh and the smell of fresh leather. Right. You know what I'm saying? After I ate this. But it, trust us, it, it's not like off-putting. You're and you're not you're not sitting here thinking like, "Ooh, I'm chewing leather." No, it's like it's, it's like new car it's, leather. It's almost like like smoking a cigar. They talk about t tobacco that the, the 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 flavors and everything that well, you get yeah, from. That, we've never done this one, have we? I believe we have. It's been a while. I haven't seen Oso Pardo on the website for a little it's while. A so yeah, it's so I, I it popped back up on there again. So I was like, you know, we haven't had Oso Pardo in a while. I'm gonna add it to cart. It's four years old. Four years old. Yes. I bring my accent out. It's had, four years old. Had a little bit of time to, to age. She hates my New York accent. It's just, it's, I don't hate it. It's just, it seems out of place because he doesn't normally speak with that. Just like I don't normally speak with a Southern I accent. I cut it out when I moved to Florida because they thought I was a Yankee. I never knew I was a Yankee until I moved to Florida. Oh, and a Yankee is a bad thing down here. I never, knew I, I, never knew I was a Yankee until I moved to Florida. Florida is the South. You know, she's got, she's got the Southern accent. I do not have a Southern accent. She does. A little Southern belle. She can... She could do oh, it. Oh, I could really pull out the southern draw, but I don't. You should do it once in a while. It's just it's maybe so at the fun. car show, put a cowgirl hat on That's, and oh walk my around. Gosh. Oh, you know, Stacy does it. Yeah. She puts the cowgirl hat yes, on. Yes, I know. She walks around. Now Norm asks, "When are we gonna do a wine party again?" He's like, "When are you guys gonna do the wine party again?" Well, I, I have some home repairs that need to be done first before I'll I can fix invite it. people into my house again. I'll help you. Okay. I will help you. So, the um, the soil to sip report for this wine, it's, uh, the grapes were hand harvested from vines planted 58 to 60 years ago in La Mancha, Spain. Well, that's old. It is old. After harvest, they were pumped into stainless steel tanks to ferment on native yeast for 8 to 10 days. The wine then aged in stainless steel tanks until bottling, unfined, and unfiltered. So again, the, the tasting notes are cherry, leather, and tobacco. You do, I mean, depending on what you have it with, it kind of brings out more of those notes more than another. When I did the garlic parmesan crisps, I can taste like, it's almost like new car leather. I don't know. It, it, like the smell? Yeah, my, when I bought my truck and it was brand new leather, I could smell the leather. Like her car had the brand new leather. Remember that? My car doesn't smell like that anymore. No, it doesn't. It smells like... <laughs> Sweaty gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> we need to clean it. And it's funny yeah. when she brings it over and we do a complete detailing. She's like, "Oh, I love it." It looks like a brand new car. No, it, it just my my son when I pick him up from practice or from his meets. He's all sweaty in his cross country clothes and everything, and it gets into the the leather. It just it smells like sweaty you gym locker. I try. I give him a towel. He uses it. It's still it's still it just it's got to be cleaned. All right, so um, the um, the pairings are steak, roasted chicken, roasted vegetables, and charcuterie. So, um, a little bit about this particular grower. Deep within the Cantabrian mountains dwell Los Osos Pardos Cantabricos de España Norte. I Los totally, Polos. I, I, I totally butchered that. Uh, the brown there. bears of northern Spain. That's what it translates into. So that's why on the label there's a, a bear. Um, so for centuries, these majestic bears have been a symbol of pride, hard work, and natural splendor. The same ingredients that make this wine so delicious. And they would eat you, though. Bienvenido a Oso Pardo. Los Palos Hermanos. <laughs> remember Gus Spring? Yes, Gus bear? Spring, yes. He owned seven chicken. I remember, yes, chicken man. Chicken man. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so let's see if I have any other information. Uh, I don't have, sorry, I don't have carb or calorie count for, for this wine. I don't have that available on the on the website. So, um, well. Would you grade this as a, a heavier? I, no, it's uh, not. It's dark. It's dark. I, don't, I wouldn't grade it as a heavy red. It's nice and smooth, but it does have a good amount of flavor. It's it's not it's it's not you can see the dark color. Don't don't be fooled. Because the dark color usually would represent more of a cabernet. I like it with a little bit more of a, like a spicier flavor. I, I like it. Mm. It's good. It is good. It's this not, is a steal for twenty-five dollars a bottle. It, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a, a drinkable. You could sit there and have this. Um, you, you don't want to have it too warm. I mean, obviously, but it's we're good. having it room temperature. It, it's good with beef jerky. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would say that honestly, I would grade it between a a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Merlot. It's in that range. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, it definitely doesn't lean towards any kind of peppery, so like not it doesn't like, lean not towards Syrah, Syrah or Petite Syrah. No. It's heavier than a Merlot, mm -hmm. but not as heavy as a Cab. So Cab, Merlot, Shiraz. With the cherry notes in there, that's why it kind of gives it, I think, gives it more of that like happy medium. Shiraz. Yeah. A Shiraz is definitely this level. A little Scott and Teller does not have a Shiraz per se. I don't think so. And Shiraz is actually kind of like a manufactured term if you look it up. Um, Shiraz would be between a Pete, Petite Syrah, a Syrah, and a Merlot. Did I'm you know trying that? to think, did the, the Tango Tango, did they have a, a Shiraz? I don't think so. Tango Tango was. Um, New Zealand, right? Aren't they New Zealand? I remember way long ago, I had a client that owned a French bistro. And he bought wines from all over the world. Went to wine auctions. We're doing a wine video. I can talk about this. He would buy tens of thousands of dollars worth of wines at wine auctions. I'm talking 10, 15, 20 year old wines. Would he get a discount? No, you just, you, you go, you bid. Oh, you go to the wine okay. auctions and you bid on it. And you buy, bid on cases of it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the, a case is like six bottles or 12 bottles or whatever. And you might pay five, six, seven, eight hundred bucks for that. And they sell for two or three hundred bucks a bottle. He had a, uh, a Shiraz one time from Spain. Mm -hmm. And it was an old, it was like from 1988 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was like this. It wasn't really peppery. It wasn't crazy. This is not peppery at all. It, it was just it was just a good wine. That wine was two hundred dollars a bottle. Really? At the restaurant. This is twenty five dollars a bottle, people. This is two hundred bucks a bottle. I can tell you right now, this is definitely of the it quality. It compares. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. This is the same quality. But you know, when you're out to dinner at an expensive French bistro, you I'm telling you, know you if I you've mean, never you... had clean crafted wine, you have to taste it for yourself. There is a huge difference between this wine and the stuff you're buying at the store. No matter how much you're spending at wherever wine shop or, so or grocery store or wherever. So if we go to Shitteria Bistro, it's still there. You want to go there? Where's that? In Syracuse. Oh. It's still there. Oh, wait. It's a French restaurant. But I want to bring my own wine. They won't let you do that. Well, then I'm not going there. They wouldn't let you do that. I don't do that. Because they have expensive wine. Well. High-end shit. Well, no. this is to me, again, I, this is a wine video. I'm trying to tell you right now. $200 bottle of wine, $25 bottle of wine. This is what you get this from this company. This is excellent wine. This is the same level. And you know it's all about optics. When you go to those restaurants, at a French bistro, it's optics. Oh, and they, they told all the restaurants upcharge you. No, they, 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 the, 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 the waiter will tell you, or the waitress will tell you, oh my God, we just got this, we've got this batch in from auction. It's unbelievable, you gotta try it. And you say, can I, can I do, it? can I taste it? Well, well, no, we can't possibly have corn. Right. We can't possibly. <laughs> if you come to our, our uh, wine parties, you can enjoy these wines and my, taste it for yourself. My euphemisms are off the charts tonight. <laughs> I am trying to be subtle, and it's not working. She's not. No. Up with it. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just thinking about like we're reaching the <laughs> end of the first marking period. 
like trying to wrap things up finishing up a unit with my accelerated students. My regulars are taking a little bit longer to get through, but we're chugging right along. She's not as stressed. I really, I, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot more this year. I have the time to really focus on my students' progress and really looking at how much they're growing and celebrating that growth and their success and everything. And I'm finding my job a lot more enjoyable. And my students, even if they're, you know, if they're they're at the average range right now where they were before and now where they are they've definitely shown growth and improvement so i'm celebrating that with you they really enjoy all the different celebrations we're doing she gives them treats. in class i do I, I bring in treats I, I find the bogo deals at the grocery store so it doesn't cost me a whole lot of money and they really enjoy it in class and they really they love the competition and my, my, my as i was saying before with my fellow teachers my evil little plan is working and, and kind of like pitting them against each other. And I like, oh, this class took the lead. And you, oh, you gotta make sure you're doing this and you're doing that. So because if you if you win the, the prize, then you get this special treat it's in class. Teacher. I it's mean, it's, I, but it, it's it's showing, it's showing progress. It's a good, pro good professional teacher. So that, that I, I love seeing that progress and celebrating with my students and, and yes. highlighting that with them and showing them, okay, we may not be perfect, but you guys are doing a really good job and I'm rewarding you for your hard work. So it's it's enjoyable. We're getting to the end of the, the grading period and then we start all over again. <laughs> well, she's definitely less stressed this year than she was a year ago. Go back and rewind the videos well, from a year ago. It's because there's been several years of trying to build I don't know. Remember a year no, ago? No, but now I do have really good kids this year. I, I will say that. In comparison to my peers, and I hear stories about their students, I'm like, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut because I realize I'm really blessed this year. I don't know how that happened, but I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful, and I will deal with whatever challenges I have. And I, I will tell you that, okay, I understand that the economy is tough for everybody right now. It's tough for everybody. But what I've found, honestly, is that perusing the Scout and Seller website, the prices really haven't gone up that much. No, they haven't. I mean, inflation is killing all of us, right? It's nine bucks for a dozen As we're eggs. getting closer to the holidays, too, there's all kinds of new deals popping up on different holiday sets. A lot of times shipping is included, so you don't have to meet that, meet that 150 minimum to get the shipping included. Gas, three, Thank four you. bucks, and five bucks a Thank gallon. Thank you. you I, 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 yes, I saw what you did there. I'm a good boy. Thank you. Um, lots of great deals. We have this little, like they call it like an intro, like starter pack. Yeah. I think there's like six different wines. It's about like a, a glass worth in each, in each bottle, but if you can get it for $49 and they normally only sold that before as part of like, if you signed up as a consultant, you could get Except this as shipping. like a starter set. Yes. And shipping is included. For $49. $49. So. Yeah. You get like six bottles of these different, uh, like Not full staples. Size. No, they're they're about a glass for each bottle. Oh, she can run. But you get a nice variety, and you get to sample a lot of different clean craft wines. So if you've never been involved with this before, it's a great way to get into Scout and Cellar. You order this set, and you can try a bunch of different wines for a relatively low price. And if you decide these people know what they're doing. And you're right, this, there is a big difference in this wine. You can buy all these wines in full bottle sized, all different kinds of ways to, to, to save, buy, buy sets that are already curated for you. I mean, it's just a lot of really great deals popping you, you up. Can, you have to get on the Scout and Seller side. You can trust us after the amount of time we've been doing this, that when we say, like we specifically tell you different breeds Both of, of wine. Both of these are really great. No, and they're available to everybody. You don't have to be a Scout Circle member. We're telling you uh, the white is between a Pinot Gris and a, and a I, God, I would even say a Riesling Chardonnay in that same level, that family in the middle there. So if you love Pinot Gris, you love Rieslings and Chardonnays, that's, a, that's like a, a hybrid combo. This one here, this one here is definitely not in the Syrah category. This one is between a Merlot and a Cab Shirazi. Not quite peppery as a Shiraz, but just a level below it's, it. Oh, it's not peppery at all. It's not peppery. So that's how we describe it. We're becoming sommeliers. <laughs> we are. We are literally. I'm not quite that official. I, I don't know. We're, we're getting there because I can tell you right now, we can literally identify it. So if you're watching us, that's what these two are. And that's the way we judge it. And you probably would too. So if I was doing a wine party, I would say the same exact thing. So I just want to point out the, the Cafico, the Pinot Grigio, 
um, is part of what we call, it used to be called auto sip, but now it's called circle choice. So this is one of those wines. There's several on the website, but there's, this is one of those wines where you can set it up to like auto ship to you at, like a, at whatever frequency that you want, however many bottles of it that if you, you like want. It. Right, if you like it, this is one that they do have enough volume where you can set up until it's gone, until this vintage is gone and they create new, new wine and everything else. Uh, so the, you have to uh, definitely check that out on the, the website as well. Without being a Scalp Circle Wine Club member, which is awesome, you have access to a lot of really great wines. You can pick what kind of, what level of, of uh, like auto shipment that you that you want. It's a really great deal. And you have access to a lot of different wines that the, that's on the regular website you can't get. But the this K Fico is available as what they now call Circle Choice. So definitely take a look and check it out. Yeah, I saw Circle Choice. I was wondering what that was. It, it used to be the Auto Sip, and now they've changed it to, to what they call Circle Choice. It's slightly different than the than the Auto Sip. So here's the deal. If you like it, if you like our if you like our videos, like, comment, and share. We'll put the links above these ones. We'll put the links. Go to Facebook. Talk. We're gonna the the YouTube video will premiere. It's premiering now. <laughs> it's premiering now. Yes. Um, Mr. Producer. Um, it's, pre it's premiering. Talk to us. We'd be happy to talk to you because while it's premiering, generally we're sitting there finishing these. Yes. <laughs> and we love to talk to people. Yes. Um, so all I can say is this, this was great. Nine and a half on the white. Okay. And I would give the, the eight and a half to the, uh, to the red. I don't give a nine to the red. You would? I really, I like this red, yeah. So you would order I do. it again? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Uh, Oso Pardo has a lot of other wines on the, the website. I kind of Are forgot about the temper. Yes, I forgot about the Tempranillo. And uh, so I just opened it tonight. I forgot I was about like, it too. I, I don't think we've had this in a long time. Uh, I forgot about that wine. This is a really great wine. So. I for, I have, you know what I have? What? I have frozen meatballs. You think, eh, this might go with Italian. On Saturday night. Okay. Why well, don't have another bottle of this, but we'll find something. You could do zoodles. Yes, I love my. Zoodles. I have frozen meatballs and homemade sauce. Yes, and I then have, we'll pair it with some. Zoodles. I never gave her a jar of it. No, he I promised. I know he promised he was going to do it. And I opened up my own jar because I eat lunches from it. Yes. I have small. I have the whole grain meat pasta. All right. We hope you guys have a, a great week. Um. Um. Also, still thoughts and prayers. To everybody affected by her yes. thing, Helene. We know there's a lot of you yes. out there that uh, you North can even Carolina. see this video right now. But if you know somebody who's been affected by that, keep your eyes out for different ways that you can um, help in those areas. Right now, it's a little bit tricky trying to figure out how to get help into those areas. So um, we know that Elon Musk has provided Starlink now. He's yes. brought, he brought in Starlink uh, remote uh, units all over North Carolina now, so you can have internet access free. Yes. So just go on your phone. Apparently, I was on Twitter. It's just a Starlink. And, and all the, the devastating flooding and all of the people who have lost their lives because of that. And like our, our, our prayers go out to their, their families. Yes. Um, and we, we hope that there is um, some progress in trying to uh, recover all of those areas. Yes, yes. And we will definitely uh, be keeping an eye on all of that. Um, and, uh, North Carolina doesn't have a lot of wine countries. But, no. But, you know, it's all right. Anyways, so we will see you guys next week. Yes. And we will pick something out that's tasty and delightful for you, and we'll do a video. Yeah. All right. Have see a that. great week, everybody. All right. Bye.